it's like a lot of people want me to get married. Don't do you know? it. <laughs> Don't do it. Wait. You know, but a lot of people come up to me as if I'm a psychic or something, or like I know the future. Like sometimes the aunties would come to me like, Marlon, when are you gonna get married? You know, like, what kind of question is that? You know, like when are you gonna get married? You know that kind of thing. And it's whenever they ask me that question, it seems like there's a, a hint of guilt trip behind it. You know, when are you gonna get married? I've been waiting. You know, like it's like, oh man, I'm sorry. You know, I'm like, I'm sorry you've been waiting, you know, but that's a really, if you really think about it, that's a hard, and it's a really weird question. I mean, how am I supposed to know, right? How am I supposed to know when I'm, I'm going to get married? It's kind of like, maybe if I'm with somebody, then I might kind of know, right? Or if I'm like engaged, like, you know, that good looking dude over there, um, and that couple over there, if I'm engaged, then I might have a clue on when, but I'm all alone, you know? <laughs> You know, so to me, that's a really, really hard question. It's not like, um, it's not like I, I placed it in my calendar. You know, it's like, uh, no, I can't next month. I got you, camp. You know, maybe in two in, in two weeks. All right, maybe, maybe. But you know, that's actually not as bad as some of the what I call the marriage Nazis. You know, there's some marriage Nazis that come up to me and they come up to me like, Marlon, get married now. <laughs> You know, Marlon, get married now. I'm like, right now? All right, let me make some phone calls. Um, you know, I'm like, hey, um, you want to marry me? Are you busy today? You know, uh, can you be up here to Magla like at 3 o'clock? You know, why, uh, I'm gonna get, get married right now. Get married now, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, can you come up here? Oh, why not? You can't? Oh, why? Oh, you have kids. That's okay. Come on. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, oh, come on. Oh, you still can? Oh, you're with your husband. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, that's okay. Oh, yeah, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, that's actually not as bad as some of the uncles that I have to deal with in San Diego. San Diego. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's from SD. But I actually have, you know, I call them uncles. It's like a, a Filipino culture thing. It, it, they're family, friends, or whatnot. They happen to be your uncle, you know, and, and we show them respect or whatnot. But sometimes the uncles, they're 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 as bad as the marriage Nazis because, you know, for some reason they come up to you like a car salesman. You know, right? They come up to you like, come here. You know, Marlon, come here. You know, and, then, and you're like, oh no, man, uncle's calling me again, dude. And you don't want to be rude, so you come up to them, right? Like, Marlon, come here. So you come up to them, and then they give you the crab lock. You know, like, come here. You know, <laughs> so you can't get away. You're just like, oh. You know, and then they say something that every uncle says. You know, and you know this. It says, Marlon, come here. I know somebody. <laughs> I know somebody and you know what it's about. It's about a nurse. Yeah. I know somebody, she's yes. a nurse. Yes. I have pictures. <laughs> Don't take a look, you like, you buy. <laughs> Come here, here's a picture. You like this one is brand new, brand new. <laughs> Automatic power windows. You know. <laughs> so you look, you know, it's like oh, it's okay. But you know, it, it, it's sad because they treat like these women are like cars and they're selling to me and I feel bad for them and stuff like that. And then there's you know, they sell they sell to you like I have pictures, come take a look. I'm like, all right, Marlon, how about this one? You know, like Marlon, come here. How about this one? This one is like a brand new, brand new paint. You know? <laughs> it's like a brand new, it's been used once, you know. <laughs> This one, wait, you don't like, how about this one? This one, Marlon. This one is, uh... That's a language. This one is a top down. <laughs> this one's a top down. You like, you know, look at them, right? It's like, oh, come on, uncle. That one has dance. <laughs> It's all faded. It's all faded. 
love you all. Hey, he looks. Oh, that's your auntie. <laughs> How about this one? This one is like a van. <laughs> 15 seater. Good you know. for traveling. It's like long you know, that's really, really bad, you know. Like, okay, you know, like, how about this one? This one, oh, this one is like a Mercedes Benz. It's today. Today. And you, you look at it, it's like, wow. Oh, you're going to hurt yourself. How come she's not with anybody? Oh, why? That's re she's really pretty. Oh, sound a bit spiked Never mind, you're still gonna get that. <laughs> I got it! Woo! Yes, five of you got it, you know. But to be honest, I do appreciate, you know, all the uncles and all the aunties that come up to me because it shows that they care about me, it shows that they are, you know, uh, interested in the details of my life, sometimes way too interested, you know. But, you know, not once do they ever come up to me and ask me what I look for in a girl, you know? They don't, ever, they don't ever ask me what I like in a girl or anything like that, what I look for in a girl. And no one ever approached me. I mean, only a couple of people. And to be honest, if you're interested, this is all the girl I'm looking for. I want a girl that's fast, quick, and easy. You know? <laughs> Hold on. Fast when it comes to obeying God. You know? Quick when it comes to serving others and easy to get along with. You know? And I also want to grow with, you know, um, with a nice, you know, breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Spell to shoot a nice armor of God, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> but seriously, uh, actually, you know, if you're interested, all I'm looking for is someone to go to, go to church with yeah, and serve God interested. with. And, yeah. Yeah. you know, someone who will love God more than she will love me. That's all. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and if you're interested, you know, give me a call. If you're that girl, text me, you know, email me, Facebook me, you know, pass me your resume, you know. <laughs> pass me your resume, let's compare, you know. <laughs> and if you're interested, here's some of the highlights of my resumes. I am a U.S. citizen, so. <laughs> I'm currently employed. I am insured. <laughs> I got health and dental plans, you know. I am 5'8, you know, 200 pounds of love. You know? <laughs> I got brown eyes and black hair two weeks ago. <laughs> and lastly, I'm actually a song.